Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the do by far. My name is Fafa and today I've got something so exciting. Tatale one-on-one. Yes. My mama ni other tatale. Is that indeed tatale? My infusing may be so yummy. Let's start. So I think I'll call it the plantain pancake. Garnish and nature is in Zamans and Zamibiaka Kaka Hunde, yes, or you do to buy a Fanam Bona. Tatalia, a blommel, Tatale one one. Eh, I'll be good. Eh, Dada, if you am that, you have a woman called the catcher half of Bodanu, a man way, no way, che. Tatale, look how candy like and beautiful this plantain pancake is. Now we're going to start by using our over ripened plantain and I've got two in a bowl that I have mashed. To that, I'm adding my finely diced onions and I've used red onions here because they're sweeter. And I've also finely diced some cassoir pepper. You can use your habanero chili or any other chili that you do prefer for this. Add your salt to taste. And the next thing I'm going to add is one teaspoonful of my cornstarch. I'm going to mix everything together till it's well combined. And I think that the cornstarch makes it fluffy and perfect. Now, if this is your first time of tuning into my channel, you are welcome and thank you very much for doing so. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and the notification button. Do select all, which means every video that I do upload, you will be notified of it. Do not forget to also leave your comments below and tell me what you think about this video. I would like to improve and that's exactly what is going to happen. The next ingredient is one teaspoonful of my blended ginger, garlic, aniseed, onion and a little bit of chili. And I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined as you can see here. Now I'm now going to toast my grains of salim or wintia. What am I doing? You'd find out soon enough. And the next thing I'm going to add are uh, the African nutmeg. My next ingredients are cloves. Now I'm just warming this through so they release their oils because I'm going to be adding the palm oil to it. And now those oils are going to infuse into the palm oil, making it taste better. If you've watched my previous videos where I have used palm oil, I did mention that most of the palm oil that I do get here in the UK I personally don't think they're great enough so this is what i do um, to enhance the flavor of my palm oil and i'm just adding a little bit of my cassoir pepper as well and that just gives it the aromatic flavor so it makes the oil great it might look smoky but it's just so and it's perfect so i'm going to reduce the heat now when you're dealing with this be careful because it does spit everywhere um, as you can see because i did add the chilies to it so make sure your surfaces are wiped clean and I'm scooping a tablespoonful of my mixture. Now you can see how nice and thick it is. Reason is because when my plantain was overripened, I placed it in the fridge. Yes, that's my trick. So it sucked out a bit of the moisture out of it, which is just so. So it meant that I just used a little bit of my cornstarch and that just binds it a little bit, but also it just gives it that crunchiness as well. So this is a perfect vegetarian dish absolutely and the spiced palm oil is going to fry these beautiful plantain pancakes and i'm going to be frying it for about three minutes on each side on the medium heat that i keep talking about is just to regulate the temperature and allow this to cook evenly so now let's see now that looks good and one thing is once it actually cooks it's so easy for you to just like toss it as you can see here look at that toss Let's see another one. Can we do this? Hey, looks like it's a full house here. Oh. Hey, full house. Ah, I tell you now. <laughs> so yeah, this is just going to fry for another three minutes on that side. And um, I think this is ready. Now I have got my kitchen um, paper towel here and I'm just going to blot any excess oil out of it. And I think this is ready for me to serve. This is so simple, isn't it? Like one, two, three, simple. 
But of course, you are at the Ndidi Vibe of a Kukui channel. And look what I've done to the skin of the plantain. I washed it clean and I'm using it to decorate my thingy. Now, what's it doing? Ah, of course. <laughs> you don't have to do this, but I think it's fun. You know, especially if you've, you know, you've got guests and you're serving this. It's um, a great point of conversation because the first thing they're going to ask you is, what is this? Mm-hmm. Is in Dudu that did it too? <laughs> anyway, so I'm just, you know, garnishing the thing as you do, just to make it lively and make it look good. That's it, you know, simple as one, two, three, but how you present it as well makes it that, yeah, it makes that special. It makes it special. Gives it that je ne sais quoi thing, you know what I mean? And can't people know that you can say in Dudu by Fafa Jenny, you know? And I can't even hear that you can say, you know, you can't even hear skills and techniques, eh? Min dam mamia in mamishi una eh le chomi ne ke tricks ne mi fe. I'm adding my little flowers here and it's a peppermint flower as you do of course, and I think that this is ready. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Traditionally, tatale is served with the bambara beans. So yes, I have got a recipe in a previous video for the bambara beans and I'll leave a link in the description box, so do check it out. Now, can't wait to dig in. Let me take a moment to give a shout out to Belinda Beidou for designing this outfit. Thank you, girl. I'm looking good and I'm feeling good. I'd leave her link in the description box below, so do check it out. She's on Instagram. Now, a big thank you to my notification gang. Guys and girls, like seriously, you guys have helped me a lot. And I know I have been quiet for a while, but of course, I'm bringing you new content and it's just incredible. Thank you all for your likes, your comments, and your compliments of our mom. She really does extend her love to you guys. And I think that you guys are incredible for showing her that love. I appreciate each and every one of you. Yes. Now I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in dudubayfafa. So do pass by and say hi. I hope you guys are liking the new music. Thank you, I am Norel, for producing this for me. I'm loving it. And until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be your gorgeous self. And if you're ever going to change, change for yourself. We love you for you. Toodles.